You're on the move. I don't know. You are staking your own claim, Robinson Crusoe. I'm manipulating you. Hey sis, it's been about two months since my last anti-haul, and in that time, a fair bit of nonsense has amassed and arisen in the beauty community, and I'm here to address it. Or should I say, I'm not ready for this one, address it. I'm wearing a dress, so. Most of you are probably familiar with the concept of an anti-haul, but if you're not, I will briefly run through it. We don't do disclaimers in this household, but we do do explanations. An anti-haul is a video in which a world-famous influencer like myself provides their viewers with a rundown of products that they do not want to buy or they don't think their viewers need to buy for whatever reason. It is a video popularized by two YouTubers, Kimberly Clark and Amber's Beauty Chair. If I talk about a product that you're into, whatever. I'm not your bank manager. The first product that I am not buying are the Givenchy Le Rouge Liquid lipsticks, which I saw teased on Instagram. The reason why I'm not buying these is fairly simple. It's a $37 lipstick that comes in a shade range that every single other brand that creates lipstick has also made. I mean, there's nothing wrong with like creating in-demand colors. Like these are also the colors I wear. It's not like I'm out here in a gray lipstick every day, but there's no reason to spend that much money on it, at least for me. The way I see really luxury high-end versions of pretty standard makeup products is as follows. Unless the formula makes your gallbladder do backflips or the packaging is keeping you up at night because of its beauty, you probably don't need it. Moving on. <laughs> Have you guys ever had um, an ex-significant other try to weasel their way back into your life? Oh, tart. You truly thought you were slick with this one. You thought you had me. You thought you thought that by releasing your own spin on what is quite possibly my favorite type of makeup product, lip glosses, that you would just sneak your way into the fortress of my heart and I would uncancel you. <laughs> it didn't work. I feel absolutely no desire to buy any of these. None whatsoever. It's hard. You know what you should be doing? Instead of uh, making lip glosses, little little mermaid palettes, you know what you should be doing instead? You know what should be you know what your time would be better spent doing? Fixing your shade range on your foundation. You know, the reason everyone's mad at you. I actually went to college with a girl who works for Tarte now, like Tarte Corporate, I believe. She's great, she's a really nice girl. I'm gonna DM her on Instagram like, hey, I know we haven't really talked since freshman year of college, but can you like tell your boss's boss's boss that they're just <laughs> absolutely torpedoing their own SEO right now? Thanks. The third thing that I am anti-hauling is the Lime Crime Venus 3 palette. Putting aside the fact that I'm one of those harpies that doesn't actually like Lime Crime, there's a couple reasons why this is not really doing it for me. Like if a different brand released this palette, I'd probably also not buy that. To be quite honest, I find this to be a little bit boring. The two purple shades are fun and cute. Those two little chickadees should be a duo. They're adorable. I don't know if Lime Crime makes duos because I have not checked their website in like three years, but I like them in general. The original Venus palettes are really cool and fun and avant-garde multiple years after they launched. And this is just a palette. Also, I just super do not see it for doe deer, so, you know, that also gives me pause. Anyways, the next thing that is just nowhere on your girl's radar, the Maybelline Lemonade Craze Eyeshadow Palette. My dude, what fresh horse hockey is this? You know what this palette is? This palette is the Modern Renaissance palette with a pop of yellow, just a like a cracked egg yolk right on top of the, of the modern renaissance. Let's talk about that yellow for a second. The picture that I'm using right now is from Trend Mood Instagram, which is where most of my photos come from. Trend Mood is the real MVP with providing me pictures for anti-hauls. I believe she did the swatches herself because there's nobody else tagged on this picture. It's just Maybelline and Trend Mood. These swatches do not look like the pigmentation is spectacular. And this is on a fair skinned person. I cannot imagine the 50 shades of chalkiness it would be on my melanated skin. Yellow eyeshadow is really hard and I don't necessarily trust Maybelline to get it right, you feel me? As far as I know, the last time Maybelline's eyeshadows were anywhere in the public eye as far as YouTube is concerned is back in 2015 when products I regret buying videos saw a spike in popularity and everybody put their boxing gloves on and just dragged <laughs> <laughs> the Maybelline Blushed Nudes palette by its unpigmented, dusty little edges. <laughs> 
Oh, I'm sorry, I was mistaken. The last time Maybelline's eyeshadows were in the YouTube public eye was last year when the Gigi Hadid palette happened. Anyway, oh my god, I upped my ISO like one and like, bro. I'm sorry, when did the Zoe Kravitz get here? <laughs> the next thing I'm anti-hauling is the KKW and Mario eyeshadow palette. I don't have much of a hard opinion on the Kardashians. It's kind of for a weird reason why. I feel a kinship with Kim and Chloe and Courtney and Rob because they, like me, are Armenian. We have the same patria. The point is that the reason I'm not buying this is not because I hate the Kardashians or I think they're lazy or whatnot. I don't think about them very much. The reason I'm not buying this is because it honestly does not interest me very much. I'm not gonna spend a ton of time talking about the palette itself. I find it objectively pretty but a little boring. A lot of people are calling it a neutrals palette with a pop of blue. Here's something interesting I noticed though, a little fun fact, life hack, insider trading secret here. Uh, the upcoming Makeup Shayla collaboration palette with ColourPop has virtually all of the same shades the KKW palette has, plus like several more, it's a larger palette. And that palette's gonna be $23, whereas the KKW one is, I believe, somewhere in the ballpark of 45. So, if you're looking at the color of KKW and just based off color, you either don't wanna spend the money or don't wanna support Kim Kardashian or whatevsies, you might wanna consider the color pop. I can never actually tell how good KKW Beauty's products are because it seems like most of the hype that's kind of kicked up about them on YouTube or Instagram at least, comes from two groups of people. The first group is made up of people who are just excited that their fave Kim Kardashian is making makeup and are gonna buy whatever she puts out because they love her. The second is influencers who want to stay on the brand's good side because if they make a positive review, Kim Kardashian's gonna come on their channel and get them hella views and maybe possibly invite them to one of her patrician launch parties. Far be it from me to be annoyed at Stan supporting their fave. I, as a card-carrying Beyonce Stan, would be a major hypocrite if I actually had that view. If Beyonce, Giselle Knowles hyphen Carter, put out a makeup line, goodness knows I would buy almost everything in it if I could. <laughs> I've already given her so much money for merch. Also, if I were a top tier influencer and kind of stretching the truth about how much I like or dislike a product would earn me like a world famous, like global celebrity coming on my channel and getting me that sweet, sweet fat AdSense check, yeah, I would probably do that. It's dishonest, sure, but it's a great business practice. <sighs> Next up. God damn it. God damn it. The Revlon Shoot the Moon collection, specifically the jelly highlights. God damn it! I knew this would happen! Remember back in November when I anti hauled the Farsali Jelly Beam highlighter and I said that it was super gimmicky because it was just a standard liquid highlighter with gelling agents in it to make it. Jiggly. It's spreading! Honestly, at this point I'm wondering what brand's gonna fall victim to this ridiculousness next. I mean, I, I, I feel like I'm an invasion of the body snatchers right now, sis. Like, slowly and steadily every brand I love will launch a jiggly glitter pudding and soon it's just gonna be me and Fenty Beauty as the last ones left. The scene is thus. Fenty? Fenty. I walk eagerly and slyly towards Fenty Beauty, thinking we've done it. We've escaped the evil together. Slowly, as I grow near, Fenty's eyes widen and they raise their arm, letting out a horrid, primal scream. New jelly freestyle kilowatt eyeliner's launching soon! New <laughs> jelly kilowatt freestyle eyeliner's launching soon! I'm sorry if I just ruined the ending of that 40-year-old movie for you, but uh, yeah, it would be like that. I'm not here for this. The last thing is tentative. I know I just talked about this in my beauty wish list, but I might not buy the Nabla Cosmetics Soul Blooming Palette. I took a long, hard look at it, and I realized one of the only reasons why I kept thinking about this palette was this little periwinkle shade down here. I think it's beautiful and I have absolutely nothing like it in my collection. How much is this little color influencing you to desire this palette? How much of the lust is coming from this little periwinkle moment? And I think it might be most of it. We'll see. So that is probably everything. I know this was a shorter anti-haul this time around, but you know, 
I'm just not filled with as much negativity as I was in February. Just kidding. It's always there. It's always there, sis. I'm a Scorpio rising. It's always there. Before I go, I have a couple housekeeping corner things to take care of. I have a question for you guys. I talk in the comments a lot about how I cut a lot of things out of my videos because I'm just still afraid that if I upload videos routinely that are like 10 plus minutes long, everybody's gonna unsubscribe to me despite the fact that everybody's videos are that long nowadays. Would you guys like me to upload little compilations as separate videos of things I've cut out or little tangential stories I go on for a couple of minutes that I don't feel like would make sense to include in the video? Um, cause that'd be like a fun thing and you'd get a little bit more content from me and it would allow me to vent all of my nonsense thoughts onto my YouTube channel and let all my absurdity bleed into that a little bit more than it already does. Local meatball goes on a tangential story. <laughs> Uh, Nisi Pisa cringe compilation, you know, things like that. So if you would like that, let me know. Also, like always, if there's any specific videos you would like from me and my nonsense brain, please let me know. You are the organ grinder, I am the monkey. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Before you leave, however, I'm gonna need you to do a quick favor for me. If you would go ahead and have an amazing day, that would be glorious. Also, tell me what's going on in your life. I wanna connect with you guys more. I did a little like mom across the kitchen table hands. Like, just like, I want you to tell me about your day. I want you to talk to me. What's going on at school? That's me right now. I'm going full on Linda Belcher mode at all of you. Also, if it's not too much of an inconvenience, please consider scrub scrubbing to my channel. <laughs> okay, that's it. Happy trails. Didn't like that.